Hey guys, Stuart here. Did you know that you can now collect payments from your customers with HubSpot completely for free? Well, today I'm going to navigate through the process of setting this up with your free HubSpot CRM. This is so that you can automate and start collecting payments from your customers with HubSpot and Stripe. Okay, so just quickly before we go ahead and launch into HubSpot payments, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and set up HubSpot payments. Okay, so to get started with HubSpot payments, simply head over to your free HubSpot CRM or your paid HubSpot account and then navigate up to Commerce. Click here and then come down and select Payments. And this is a new feature that HubSpot users can leverage across their account. If we navigate down the page and once we've set up payments, we can start receiving payments from invoices, we can set up payment links, we can also send out quotes, and we can capture reoccurring subscriptions, reoccurring payments. Okay, so let's navigate back up to the top and then click on set up payments. And the first thing that we need to do is connect Stripe, which is a free universal payment gateway. You only pay a small fee per transaction. And as you can see, no platform fee for the first 90 days. Simply come down and click on connect Stripe. If you currently do not have a Stripe account, simply navigate through the process of creating a Stripe account. Now, if you wanna learn more about Stripe, what I'll do is add a few tutorials down below in the description, which will cover all of the Stripe tools and features that you can leverage inside a Stripe account. Go ahead and select where your business is located. I'm going to select New Zealand, then agree to terms and conditions and click on start. Here you just need to add your email of your existing Stripe account or an email for a new Stripe account. Then click continue. If you already have a Stripe account, go ahead and add your password and then log in. Then choose the Stripe account that you want to connect. You can also create a new account if you like specifically for your HubSpot payments. Create a new business account or select your existing business details. Then review all your details before submitting. And just like that, your Stripe account is now connected with HubSpot. Let's first go ahead and create a payment link. As you can see, you've been approved for HubSpot payments. Start collecting one time and reoccurring payments with your CRM. Now to arrive at payment links, you can simply navigate up to commerce and then come down and select payment links. Let's go ahead and create a new payment link. I'm going to create one from a template. Here we have a few different options for templates. We can accept payments for meetings, trainings, consulting, coaching, and more. We can also set up subscriptions, sell, collect, and manage memberships, software, subscriptions, and retainers. We also have other template options like paid content, projects, physical goods, and donations. I wanna create a payment link for a subscription. Here you can see a preview of the payment link landing page. I'm happy with that, so I'm going to navigate up to next. Come down and add the line item information, then add a brief description about your offering, then come down and add the unit price. In our case, this is the subscription price. Then choose your billing frequency, I'm happy with monthly, then your billing terms, automatically renew until canceled, and you can select these other options, fixed number of payments. If we navigate down here, you can delay the billing start date, and you have other options down here. Then add quantity, I'm just going to add one. And then we have these other options, allow customers to edit quantity, make this line item optional, allow customers to set their own price. And these are options based on the type of payment that you want to collect. I'm going to come down and click on save. Now let's navigate up here and add the name of this payment link. Then we can come down and we can review this information that we added. You can also edit the columns if you like. Again, this just depends on the nature of the payment that you're trying to collect. I'm going to cancel out of this and then navigate over to settings. You can choose to allow this link to create a new deal and you can also add checkout information. For example, what is the next step that you want your customers to make following a purchase? You want to add the appropriate information down here. You can add links to resources, you can add videos, or again, you can just add plain text. Then down here, you can add discount codes, add contact info that you want to collect, as well as accepted forms of payment, then decide if you want to collect the billing address, shipping address, and then the checkout information. Do you want to show a default confirmation page or do you want to redirect that customer to a different page? You can simply add that link in here. This could be a website page that you created inside HubSpot or a landing page inside HubSpot or a web address outside of HubSpot. Okay, so once you've added that information, simply navigate over to preview. And here you can preview that payment link, that payment page. And once you're happy with your new payment link, simply navigate up to create. 
you can also preview what this payment page looks like across different devices. And as you can see, your payment link is ready to be sent. We can come down here and we can copy this payment link and we can share it across our different channels with our customers, with our audience, via email, Facebook, LinkedIn, whatever channel that you're leveraging. I'm going to close this. And to create a new payment link, simply click on create a new payment link. You can also customize and edit this existing payment link that you created. Okay, so what I wanna do is now go over to payments. If we navigate down here, this is where you want to spend some time adding your branding and account details to your commerce settings. Again, if I navigate down here, I showed you how to create a payment link, which you can share in your forms, meetings, in your email campaigns, and on your website. Again, we can navigate down here and we can create quotes, collect payments to your quotes tool to get paid when a customer accepts a quote. You can also quickly create and share a customizable invoice with your CRM. Okay, so let's navigate back up to the top and then click on commerce. Again, we're currently on payments. You can manage your invoices, payment links, quotes, and then subscriptions. If I click on subscriptions, we can quickly go ahead and create a new subscription. You can schedule automatic reminders, updating customers when a payment is about to go out. You can easily make changes to your subscriptions and you can track your reoccurring revenue. Okay, so I'm going to navigate back up to commerce and then navigate down to payments. If we click on checkout, this is where you can customize your global checkout settings. And these checkout settings will appear on your payment links, quotes, and invoices. So make sure you've got the right payment methods set up. Do you want to collect billing information? What countries do you ship to? Do you want to collect the shipping address? And then you can add your policies down here, terms of service. This could be a link to your terms of service page on your website, as well as your cancellation policy and refund policy. However, that is how you can connect HubSpot with Stripe so that you can start collecting payments inside HubSpot. Remember, you can create invoices, subscriptions, payment links, as well as quotes, and start managing the way that you collect payments inside HubSpot. This is a powerful new feature that you can find inside the free HubSpot CRM, as well as paid accounts. Everything you need when it comes to managing payments can be done inside HubSpot. And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief HubSpot payments tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about setting up HubSpot payments, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.